Hi, I'm Charles. This is my Sir Bookstage Booktube channel, and welcome to a weekly update video. I actually began this week uh, with one primary reading goal in mind, and that was to finish House of Chains, book four in the main Malazan Book of the Fallen series, book five in my first time Malazan read-through, where I'm reading the main series and the companion series mixed together. I had about maybe a hundred pages to go at the start of this week. And I just blew right through those hundred pages. I will say about House of Chains, the first third I struggled with, that was about a 3.5 reading experience for me. I hated Carsa Orlong in the beginning of this book. The rest of the book um, just took off and I couldn't put it down. And it was a 4.5, the whole rest of the book. So I ended up giving House of Chains four stars. And Carsa Orlong went from a character I just despise to one of my favorite characters in the entire series so far. And I will have a video coming up on my channel soon uh, where I'm going to kind of do a um, House Chains discussion video. We're going to get into my thoughts about the book. Um, after I finished that, I said, well, I might as well start Midnight Tides, the next book in my Malazan read. And I started it. And I read right through in two days, I think. And I also read The Bone Hunters. <laughs> so I ended up finishing House of Chains, reading Midnight Tides, and reading The Bone Hunters, both in their entirety. I gave both of those books five stars. They were just absolutely fantastic. And I'll have uh, discussion videos for each one of those coming up on my channel um, pretty much over the course of the next week or two. Uh, they're going to start appearing. So this is now six books of the main series read and book one night of knives of the companion series read so seven books overall and three of these now i've given uh four, five stars so i think it's pretty safe to say at this point even though i still have nine books to go in the main you know in this overall reading experience not counting the paths of ascendancy prequel trilogy I think it's safe to say at this point that Malazan has entered my top 10 favorite fantasy series of all time. We'll see where it stands in that top 10 list by the time I'm done reading them, but it's firmly in that top 10 now, um, this far at, after The Bone Hunters, because this is three of the last four books are five star reads. And not many series do that for me. Vorkosik and Saga was the last series that just kept coming with five-star book after five-star book. Now, as for what I'm currently reading, I am in the early on still in this book called Throne, an urban fantasy book from the author Phil Tucker. If you're familiar with Petrick's channel, which you probably are, he's reading some of um, Phil Tucker's fantasy works. Um, Throne is a book Phil Tucker published like 11 years ago, and it's an urban fantasy. And I'm pretty early in on it. I'm not really sure uh, what I feel about it yet because it's still very early on. There's two main characters, two women, who don't seem to be connected to each other in any way at this point, though I expect their plot lines will converge at some point in this book. It's, it's different. There's a character that seems to sort of maybe be a Jack in the Green character kind of roaming around the city. And there's a magical path with a talking fox and the other character her baby was stolen in the hospital shortly after giving birth and she's trying to find a way to find out where her baby is and recover it so again i expect these two storylines will converge but i'm still very early on so i'm not really sure how i feel about it yet but i'm going to continue reading and see where it goes i'm also almost done with crimson wind um, book two of Diana Farrow Francis's Horngate Witches Urban Fantasy Series. And this one I'm absolutely loving. I have a review for book one up on my channel. I'll link that here and down below. And when I'm done with Crimson Wind, I'll have a book review of that as well. I actually have, between the Malazan discussion videos and the Crimson Wind um, actual book review, uh, a little bit more book-focused uh, videos coming up on my channel because I realized I'm reading all these like long series, but I'm not really making videos about them when I'm done. And that's one of the things I wanted to change for 2022 and prioritize for this year is actually talk about the books <laughs> that I'm reading 
on my booktube channel when I'm finished with them. So look for um, three different Malazan discussion videos to be coming and the Crimson Wind book review. So that's kind of I guess, a combination of what I'm currently reading and what's coming up on the channel. I'm also going to be reading Rendezvous with Rama, one of my all-time favorite classic sci-fi books. It's an Arthur C. Clarke novel, hard science fiction, and I haven't read it in, I don't know, 30 years. I recently reread Childhood's End for the first time in about that long and absolutely loved it. I'm going to be revisiting Childhood's End and making a, a book review of that. But um, Rendezvous with Rama is up next in terms of me revisiting old classics that I love. So I'm going to be reading that and I'm actually going to have a book review of that uh, coming up as well. So a lot more book sort of discussion, review, focus content coming on the channel. Now, I've covered what I'm reading and I've covered what I read. I've covered what's coming up on the channel. So now just kind of a fun sort of various and sundry topic. Uh, as far as writing goes, um, if you saw I had a winter writing goals video, well, you'll find that linked. And I actually wrote a couple of thousand pages so far this week. Most of the week, write, week writing wise was me. I kind of had to solve a plot issue. Not Well, not so much the plot, but how to tell that particular plot event that needs to take place. And I kind of overcame that obstacle and now I've started writing that scene. Knocked out a couple of thousand words the other day. And I hope to have maybe another two to five thousand words by the end of the weekend. So that's actually proceeding pretty well. TV wise, I've been enjoying the Boba Fett, the book of Boba Fett. It was really cool seeing uh, Black Rasantin show up um, in the last two episodes and with a bit more to do in this one. And he's a, um, I think it's the first time we've really seen a Wookiee just just lose his shit and just go wrecking ball on people. So it was fun. They still held it back because, again, it's Disney. In reality, he'd probably take those kids and just rip their arms off. <laughs> but it is Disney, so it's going to be, you know, fighting violence to a limit. I also watched the Elementals, a Marvel's movie. And I do have to say, I think I enjoyed it. Overall, it was a bit of a miss. Um, a really ambitious project. Beautifully filmed, beautifully shot, uh, choreographed. I enjoyed all the, the actors, the characters. I just think um, they tried to tell too much of a story in that movie. I think the biggest uh, obstacle that it had that it really didn't overcome is we don't know any of these people at all. Um, if they were trying to do, like, imagine if Marvel just started with the Avengers film. It wouldn't have been as successful, I don't think. Because they took their time to give us Iron Man movie and a Thor movie and Captain America movie. So they got to establish as individual characters and people some of the main components of the Avengers first, before giving us the ensemble cast. So I think just throwing this ensemble cast together and giving us so little time with each of them and then rushing into this massive story, uh, I think that was a bit of a just a storytelling mistake, just on my part. I loved just going big like that. So, And I'm looking forward to another Elementals film. I want to see where this goes next. And I think that's a wrap for this episode of Sir Book Sage's weekly update. <laughs> so let me know down below um, uh, what you're reading this week. What your um, did you watch Elementals or Boba Fett or any of those things for just for TV show wise? If that's something you're into, just um, let me know if you're enjoying any of those as well. And I'm gonna wrap it up here. I've got book discussions and book review videos to film after this. So I am Charles's Book Sage. Happy reading.